and welcome to Caravan Escapades. Hope everybody's keeping safe and well. Well, this vlog is the second product review from Titan. Uh, as I mentioned in the previous one, Titan were very kind and sent me two products to trial. And this one is classed as the motorhome fridge fan. But it's not just for motorhomes, it can be used for caravans um, and all those sorts of applications. So it's a fan that is designed to assist with the fridge when you're using the caravan or motorhome fridge in higher temperatures. Um, the types of fridges or the standard types of fridges that are fitted to caravan and motorhomes generally only work somewhere between sort of 25, 30 degrees, sometimes a little bit lower, below ambient. So if it's 35 degrees out there and if you've got direct sunlight on the vents as well, it actually could be hotter than that. You're going to find, so let's say it's 35, your fridge is probably going to be somewhere around about 10 degrees, so not particularly cold. The idea of these fan systems is, is they can either be manually operated or they can be automatically operated. You can set, set a temperature for them to kick in. Now, what you want to do, particularly if you've got one fan system, is mount it at the top, on the top beds. You have two vents on your caravan, uh, one at the bottom, one at the top. And this is where all the hot air builds up from the fridge. So the idea is we want to remove as much of that hot air as we can, as quickly as possible. What we want to do is mount a fan set in that top vent. Uh, what that will do is that will draw the air out and over the back of the caravan. It will draw it back in the bottom and out and over. If you really, really must, you can put a fan in the bottom, blowing in a second system, but I would advise against that. And, and if you've only got one set of fans to fit, do not fit one in the bottom, blowing in and trying to force the air out, particularly if you're running your fridge on gas. You stand the risk of pushing gas fumes, through into the caravan, into the habitation area. So that's a big no-no. Um, so, shall we open this and see what it contains? So again, thank you very much for Titan. Let's put that to one side here. And these do actually come in different sizes. This is a 12 centimeter fan. Um, you can get various different sizes going up to large. In fact, 12 centimeter, so you've got nine centimeter, 12 centimeter, and 14 centimeter. So this is the mid-range one. To be fair, I think for my application, I actually need the 14 centimeter, but I'm gonna fit the 12 centimeter anyway, because that will give an assist with that airflow. So let's get this open and we'll go through what's in the box. So that's that tab off there. That's that tab off there. So let me just move the mouse to one side as I slide this out. As he says. There we go. So first things first, the set of instructions. If you're probably like me, you don't read them till you should, but take a view on the instructions. There is a set here as well for cable installation instructions. So let's turn this up the right way. Let's take this top cover off. Now within this kit, you pretty much get everything you need to fit it. Um, so here's your fan system, as you can see it there. Uh, you've got your electrical connection there. So there's your fan and there should be an indication on here which way um, is the airflow, but I'll have a look on the instructions in that. But certainly what you want to do is run it so that you're blowing out of the top vent. So that's the fan. What else have we got in here? So we have, let's undo this. So we have a range of brackets. Um, these brackets are designed to fit and combine with, oh, let's drop one, don't want to lose that. To fit and combine with the brackets here. In fact, looking at this, this is potentially the back, but we'll, we'll get that sorted which way it is. So these are the brackets, they'll slide in, they'll mount in different ways. In fact, I bet if I look in the instruction box, Box, book, it will tell me exactly. Yeah, so um, I don't know how well you can see that. So if I bring that up there, 
where that's focused in but it shows you there on how to mount those different brackets they are adjustable brackets so they will suit different requirements and actually looking at this one uh, this one is designed to clamp into the back of the grill um, previous ones I've had have mounted inside um, the housing of the, uh, the, the vent fan. This to me is a better idea. Uh, you can still take the grill off, you can disconnect the plug. So actually I quite like the look of this one. So it is a case of mounting to the back of the grill. So that's the instructions. So we get all the different brackets, different screws to assist with that. And I'll have a look later on exactly how to do that. Uh, there's some 3M sticky pads. I'm assuming those sticky pads are to help. Well, the sticky pads, I'm sure, will be for the fan speed controller. Um, assembly guide. Yeah, it's telling you everything that's in there. H, bridge rectifier. You don't seem to have a bridge rectifier. Um, looking at this, actually... So all you need... Yeah, there are... Um, there are some quite nifty little bits in here by the looks of it. So you've got a Y cable, and I suspect the Y cable is to fit in line. Um, you do have some power connections there, um, so you basically just need to pick up on a 12 volt supply within the caravan. Again, the Titan controller there, what we have at the top is we have the manual mode and you can increase and decrease the speed of the fan once it's powered up you'll be able to see that and then we have the auto mode and I'm sure if I look in the instructions the auto mode will tell me um, what temperature that this fan will kick in and help to cool the fridge uh, looking at this you can potentially yeah you can change the direction of the cable so you can open the box up and you can put the cables in through the back of the box as well if you want to make that flush mounted and you can screw that in. Yes, yeah, so you've got manual mode. Manual, the LED will illuminate when the controls are in manual mode. The LED will illuminate when the controls are in auto mode. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Press button. Um, plus or minus to adjust six levels fan speed manually each press increases decreases the fan speed one level um, here we go so in automatic mode under 20 degrees C fans are turned off automatically between 20 and 45 degrees C automatic temperature control over 45 degrees C fans operate automatically at maximum speed so basically if you've got temperatures above 45 degrees those will just kick in automatically and they'll run at maximum speed. So I'm assuming between 20 and 45, it will run automatically, but the speed you set it at. Um, this really will be quite an easy installation. Um, but I'm in a bit of a quandary here now. It is definitely a DIY installation. That shouldn't be too difficult at all. Um, but I'm taking the caravan to MG tomorrow. Um, and just for the sake of faffing around, I might ask them, stick this in the car, and I might ask them if they will do the install for me. If they do do the install, what I shall try and do most definitely is get some photos. If they'll allow me, maybe do a little bit of video. Uh, but I'll get something that I can show you how it's installed, where it's been installed, and then once it's installed and I'm back in the caravan, I'll show you guys how that operates. Anyway, next time you see me, I'm either installing the fan or the fan will be installed. So as I've come down to MG anyway, uh, and I was here, I have got these guys here to fit the Titan fridge vent fan for me. Um, I could have done it myself, but it just seemed silly as I was here and they were doing some other work for me anyway. So I've got those guys to fit it. I have asked them to take some photos for me, so hopefully I can include those photos here. So I'm now back at storage and MG Caravans have fitted the fridge vent fan system for me. Steve, thank you very much for doing that. You've done a cracking job. Really, really appreciated. So let's show me what they've done. What I've done is I've already loosened the, um, the grill here just so I can kind of take this off and show you. So obviously normally you've released these two clips. But as you can see with this system, the fan actually clips in to the back of the grill. Um, if you want to take the fan off altogether, you obviously just disconnect. Taking the cables through the top, 
um, and then sealed that back up for us. So let me put this grill back on and then we'll go inside and take a look. Actually, just before we do that, I have literally just disconnected the fan system there because I wanted to show you, you probably saw this long thin wire there, but I wanted to show you what that is. That's the thermocouple. So that's what picks up on the heat. Um, that goes down inside there and literally just sits inside there. So that's what's gonna sense the heat. And then all I need to do is connect the fan back up to that plug and we'll go inside and take a look. Again, just before we go inside, let me show you how these clips work. So you normally bring them up and then literally you drop them down like that. And that's the grill locked in place. So one of the things we needed to do was where to fit that controller. And this will really vary depending on your caravan and how it's mounted. So we decided to go, we've got two cupboards here. So we decided to go to the top cupboard. We could have gone in the cupboard at the bottom. Uh, but as the fan was going in the top, we the best way was to keep the cable run short. Um, and actually what we could do is pick up the 12 volt feed from the TV antenna booster cable. So that wasn't a problem. So at the moment, look, what I've got, I've got it switched on auto. Um, but if I switch that to manual, let me just try and put this camera a little bit closer in there so you can see. So that's manual. And that's the fan running now at the lower speed. I can increase that. Let's see if we can bring this round here a bit to show you what's at all. And I can increase that. And you can barely hear the fan running at all. So you can decrease those speeds. Or you can stick it on auto. And that is auto. So that will purely work from a temperature point of view. It will start to operate depending on what those temperatures are. And what we discussed earlier on in the vlog. And literally that is it. Um, I could have quite easily done the install myself. It wouldn't have been too difficult to do. Just take a bit of time and a bit of common sense. The only real thing you need to do is literally pick up on that 12 volt feed. Um, I did check and there is a 12 volt feed behind or a spare 12 volt feed behind the bottom vent but obviously what we didn't want to do with this installation is the fan was going up at the top it's run cables all the way down the back and all that sort of stuff so we literally just tapped in to there so it is quite a nice neat little just took that away in there nice neat little install and there we go so that is the titan fridge vent fan installation thank you very much for titan for supplying that for me titan are going to supply me with a discount code before this vlog goes out so what i might do is just put an intro in here yes titan have sent me that discount code and link the discount code is yt james 07 you'll see it here anyway and also in the description is the link to the Amazon page. So when you go through the payment process, when you select payment within there, add in the promo code YTJames07 and you'll get the discount. So again, that's YTJames07 and we'll send you back over. Hopefully you got that discount code. If for any reason you haven't, I will put it in a pinned post below and re-add it and edit to the description. Anyway, that's the end of that one. So thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed that. Please don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Hit that notification bell and we shall see you on the next one.